you want me to throw a pot for you? Uh, Just, uh, where's your wheel? Right here. Oh, this is your wheel? Yeah, this, this, this is, is a kick like... wheel. It's an old-fashioned wheel, but I do have an electric one at home that I haven't brought here. But give me a few minutes to set this up, and I'll throw a pot for you. Oh. A simple, fun pot. Yes. Just to show you how it's done. Well, any, I, I was a ceramic hobbyist, you might say. So anybody that could pull a pot to meet with their own criteria <laughs> is amazing. First of all, it's a kick wheel, which people don't even use anymore. Look down here. This I've wheel. got the electric. You're going to stand up and do this? I'm going to turn my wheel. You can do it left-handed or right-handed, uh -huh. which is interesting. Uh -huh. Think about it. There are left-handed people who can't work on a right-handed wheel. This one you can do, both of them together. Oh, you gather look up, at you. Look gather at up you. your speed, wet your clay, and then you're going to start get yourself anchored. This is a little bit difficult to get started with, but hold on. I'm getting there. We're not in any hurry. You get 10 tries, Marguerite. Oh, that may not be enough. <laughs> I have to get into the rhythm of using my feet and my hands at the same time. Yes, I would imagine you do. And then you have to keep the speed up also. So you have to concentrate on different things at the same time. just to get a, the clay smooth all over, homogenous. You start to condition it a little bit. You use a lot of water. Without water, you don't get much done when you're throwing a pot. And then you start, I always tell people, if you put an idea in your head, you could probably produce it. If you don't know what you're doing, then you can't, your brain, your brain cannot tell your hands what to do. So you put your idea, what kind of a pot do you want? Something round, something straight up. What okay. kind of a pot do you want? Well, we're going to try for maybe a bowl, something practical. And I have to remember to keep the speed up because keep it watered. In the beginning, it's good to have a lot of speed. But as you get closer to the finished pot, I'm going to stop it because I have a couple of air bubbles. I poke at them. You poke the air bubbles? Yeah. Just give it a little Get poke. the air out. There we go. Oops. What happens if you don't poke the air bubbles? Well, air, air has a tendency to um, expand faster than mass. So if the air bubble is stuck in there and getting hotter and hotter in the kiln, it will have a tendency to explode and you've lost the work that you've done. So it's good to make sure that you don't have any air bubbles. And then sometimes it'll start to wobble a little bit or uh, then we'll get that pot that we both love, right? The ones that uh, the have the personality guys, of their own. The personality pots. Okay, keep yeah. the water going. Think about your shape. I like to have, don't make fun of me now, I like to have heavy bottoms. Heavy bottoms. Heavy bottoms, because heavy bottoms, uh, once the pot is made, you can foot them and give them a very nice finished foot. Okay, now we're going to change just for the sake of... Uh, artistic pleasure. We're going to try to change the shape a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit wider. Maybe not. It's definitely morphing. See what happens. And I always say clay has a tendency to, uh, to do what it wants to do. <laughs> Sometimes you can't do it. Just let it do what it wants to do. Yeah. Don't force it. Yeah, definitely you have to Give your media permission, for sure. Okay, now we could play with it for a little while. Oh, it's beautiful already. Yeah, it's a nice pot. I'm just thinking, where am I going to put it? Ah. <laughs>
Where? Where will this go? If you were satisfied with this, I'd show you how to finish it. But I have a feeling that just, again, for the sake of, yes. of, uh, of, yes. of whomever is going to see this, yes. why don't we try to change it a little bit? Yes, sure. Let's play That'd with be it. That'd great. Okay. okay, sure. What I do when I want to close a pot up, let me get some more, some more done here. Sure. This, is, this does great things for my manicure. Do you get manicures? No, my daughter painted my nails with this uh, wonderful nail polish that changes colors in the in the sunlight. So it's going to be. I found another little hair hook. They don't bother me. I just poke them out of the way. Okay. Let's just keep going here. The sponges, I think, uh, for some reason, they help me very much. They make things work better. These are those, are they not the elephant ears or are they? No, perfect? they're, they're uh, natural sponges yes. and they do a nice job of, uh, of holding the water in, keeping everything nice and moist. Okay, I'm going to try to change the shape a little bit. I always tell my students when you want to close a pot, think of the tax collector and think of your hands around the tax collector's neck and squeeze. <laughs> Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And I usually keep a, a little bit of clay towards the top in case I need to cut it off or make a, a lip or something, something interesting. All right, we're going to squeeze a little bit more. Let's see how far we can get without ruining it. And then we'll, we'll fix the shape up a little bit. And I have to remember to keep kicking. Yes, keep kicking. Keep, keep kicking. Okay, remember tax collector, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And with the wheel, you have to be careful. Sometimes people want to work too quickly, but quickly isn't good with the wheel. Things have to be done. Pace yourself. You know, everything you've been saying are really good al allegorical proverbs for living. Too. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're absolutely right. All right, we're going to squeeze again. Now, this may not work, but if we don't try, we'll never know. Usually, once you get the shape, you can't change it very much, but sometimes you can. Well, that's also one, a great little uh, proverb. You know, you never know if it's going to work out, but you definitely have to go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, for a while, I used to make pots that were balls with one tiny little hole for one flower in them. Uh, I like that shape, but... I like it too, yes. Let's see if I can do that. And I have to keep, remember to keep, keep kicking. Okay, we're going to try to close it, and then I'll show you something else. Look at that. Oh my. I still have a lot of clay to play with. I haven't yes. really, I haven't really. Some people work very thin. I get to thin. Yes. I, I start thick to give myself enough room so that if I make a mistake, I still have enough clay to work with. 